Hi, thanks for taking a look at my API tasks that I need. So I need to have this Active Campaigns API installed on my website to do a particular type of link tracking. So let me explain to you what I need to have happen. I've got a website called Shaving with Chainsaws and it's a podcast show. Actually, let me log out here so we can start from the very beginning. And what I wanna do is track which users click on Partic particularly protected um, um, protected uh, content inside of the website. So let me show you an example of what happens. Let's say you've come to the website. I've talked about on the podcast that you can get like a special download, and but you've got to be a member to be able to get the download. So what we'll do is, let's just use Ryan Smith as an example. So here's that podcast replay. And the bonus content is actually behind this gate page right here. So you either got to sign in or you got to sign up. Let's say you already have an account and your name just happens to be Bob Test. And you log in. So as soon as I click on this, you're going to see the page go away, come back, the gate screen is gone. And now what you have is this link. So in this case, what I have set up inside of Active Campaign tag manager. So I've got a couple tags set up just for testing. One is called Spinning Spoon and Rob Walling. So if we go back to our website, it's called Spinning Cook. I got the name a little bit wrong just because I was trying to do it really quickly. But anyway, let's say that our logged in user, because he's logged in here, and we've got his email address because uh, he's subscribed to the list, that um, you click on this link. And he goes ahead and he downloads the content. Great. Just like that. Um, he, when he does that, what I want to have happen is Active Campaign through the API tags this Spinning Spoon tag to him. So we don't want to have Spinning Spoon for every single episode. In fact, we have to have a different tag for each episode. That's how I'm able to track out which are the more popular episodes based on the content that people are downloading. So we go back to an example here. We're going to use Rob Walling, which is another one. So Rob Walling's here. And our user's already logged in, you've already logged in. So the gate page is gone, but now you got this link right here. It says the Focus Creator. It says Ryan's Recipe for Focus Creator, but let's pretend that it says Rob Walling's uh, content for Focus Creator. So when Bob clicks on this link, he'd get the content. But instead of being tagged again with Spinning Spoon, he's now tagged with Rob Walling. So what I would like the API to do, oh, by the way, here's a little bit of the, a look at the code. So you got an example of what you have to do. Oh, wrong one. When you do event tracking right here, this sets it up, is that um, when somebody goes to a page, they have to, uh, the event tracking captures their email address because you're going to have to send it in there. Um, and then the event data, that's where you can put in the um, bit about which tag needs to be set based on which URL they clicked on. That's the part I don't know how to do inside of the website. So obviously there's server side code that I can give you and I can show you the back end to the website. I don't know if we could put tags on the page. I just don't know how to do this individually for each page. Because it looks like if we do this API method and I've got to do one for every single tag on every single page, this is going to get huge. So I don't know how to manage it so that um, we're filling in this event data and this and this information only once. And so it's dynamic. So it doesn't matter which episode they click on. Oops, there's a focus creator. Or which episode they click on it and what um, particular link that they're clicking on that it gets the appropriate tag. So let's, I'm going to actually pause and I'm going to go into the page itself and you might be able to help me out. So hang on a second. Okay, great. Welcome back. And so what I have here is the code, at least the code plus a couple, um, oh, I forgot what they call them, short codes that uh, do the, the fan gate, or not the fan gate, but the uh, uh, content gate. So here's the person's already logged in, and this is the equivalent link right here. So what I want to have happen is that uh, the API will be able to track when they click on this link that the appropriate tag gets placed to the member. So I don't know if we need to add it edit this also to help the API um, 
uh, know what to do if we do a redirect once I clicked on this maybe it calls the API and then the API based on a code inside of this uh, information here um, then uh, uh, post to the correct content for themselves that's the difficulty um, because I know a lot of people are going to also right click on this and we're going to download so you can't just put the right click uh, you can't just make it just a redirect URL to take the information and then redirect them afterwards because a lot of people are going to want to just directly download the content. So that's a problem I'll get and you can let me know if you've got a solution to what I need. Go ahead, ask me any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks again for taking a look at this and I enjoy hearing from you soon.